Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Soft Drummer's new update. Ooh, ooh. Yes, so Soft Drummer is superb. Like all of uh, Lumbeats, Louis Martinez's other apps, this is now uh, just just absolutely top job. I mean, it was great anyway, uh, but now it's even better. You have now MIDI out. Now we're going to be controlling Sample Tank with MIDI out because you can do some extremely cool stuff. Uh, with MIDI out uh, and sample tank is very cool because I can swap instruments around I can layer instruments stuff like that. So that's very cool Here is where we choose now. You'll see we have a wild mishmash of notes here F sharp 4 uh, B flat 3 D 3 this is for a reason. I want this to kind of kind of jazzy Sort of thing, but really kind of avant-garde jazz, uh, but we can change these out as we go and We'll do some uh, cool stuff uh, if we go back there um, here now we have live pads so to assign our live pads if we wanted to assign this particular rhythm rod groover to this particular pad all we need to do is hold this pad and it's there okay then we can choose the color we want that pad to be etc etc if we want to generate live pads for all of them we just hold it here and it will generate all those live pads if you like those live pad settings you can save them here or you can just hit new and do it again. So let's just have a quick blast with the, in fact, let's just generate some live pads while we're here. Okay, so that's very cool. So the first one will be this one. It's playing now. So we're just gonna play. Now you'll see that I've got it set up in AUM. This is purely for the mixing purposes of between the two apps. Uh, now I already have sample tank <clears throat> uh, loaded in and all I needed to do literally was just select soft drummer here uh, in the MIDI and just choose sample tank full and um, you can see that it is uh, sending on channel 10 so that's uh, important to remember in a moment so let's just go back and get a bit of volume back up well, let's bring in sample tank eh? Let's swap a few of these notes. So you get how that works, right? Every time there's a crash symbol, an E5 will sound at a velocity of one uh, over, over 100. So you could increase that velocity to 127 like you can with any MIDI. So you can control your velocities and stuff like that, okay? You can you can then say like you could then save um, any note configuration that you like up here, and then you can recall it at a, 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 a later time. Let's just set this at something a little bit more melodic. Uh, so the the thing to remember is that you're gonna you kind of like you can use this for all sorts of stuff, as you'll see in sample tech. You can use it to control all sorts of very cool things. Uh, like uh, percussion and stuff like that, and different types of instruments. But you can set your notes any any way you like. Okay, so that's your MIDI out there, and this is your MIDI clock in, and this is your clock out session. We don't need to worry. All we need to do is highlight this. So that's that for now. So let's play it again, and we'll nip over to Sample Tank, and I'll show you some cool things you can do there as well. jam intensity up I've got seven instruments How cool is this? A 
Totally Common Gate Kit. So, there you go. You can just jam out for ages. And of course, you can add more stuff. You could add synths and play them or keyboards and play over the top. As long as you're happy with the notes that um, Soft Drummer is triggering in your uh, in your chosen app, then <clears throat> you can play over it, record over it, whatever. Okay, so now let's do something that's okay quickly. Here we go. Here we go into our, our pad controls. Now, this is very cool. I can get Soft Drummer to play uh, any instrument that's set to send. It sends in its MIDI out on channel 10. We can change the channel. So, I mean, we could make uh, life easier for us. Uh, go to Soft Drummer. It's just that it chooses channel 10 because, um, you know, that's usually the channel for drums. However, now, let's just go. Sorry about that. Let's see. Let's set... Uh, these will be set in order, so we're going to need to drop them down. So if we set our channel here to channel 1, done. And we'll set this channel to channel 1, done. And we won't have that on a drum kit, eh? We'll just I'll cancel that. Just let me choose another another, another thing here. Uh, we'll choose this on, I don't know. I don't go. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's choose the sitar for this one on channel 1. And let us also, so let's arpeggiating, let us just drop the volume on those two there, and then we can fade them back in. And we have our, so if, theoretically now, if, um, yeah. The cool thing now is I've got, stop that a sec. The cool thing now is I've got um, control over any other instrument I care to put in here now. So let's just see uh, what we can do. Now, of course, it will stay, it will st still play the same pattern, but you can, with this, you can layer and stuff. But soft drummer is so cool because you can set the jam intensity, so the fills. So literally, you can just set it to go, and it will just play like a real drummer. It's fantastic. So let's just uh, play this again. <laughs> jam intensity up there. Oh, this is too cool. Thank you. 
Very cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. So there is the newly updated version for Soft Drummer. Controlling Sample Tank and then controlling the the performance thing in Sample Tank as well. Very, very, very cool beans. I love it. I love it lots and lots. Thank you for watching. If you like to give the video a thumbs up, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel or becoming a Patreon. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys later.